Greetings, welcome to Hypoxia Management in the EMD. I'm going to talk and show you different oxygen delivery devices that are used in the EMD. Oxygen delivery devices are used to either administer, regulate, or supplement oxygen in patients with hypoxia. Choosing the right delivery device will depend on the patient's need, the device efficacy, and the patient status. First, we're going to talk about a nasal cannula and a high flow nasal cannula. A simple nasal cannula is used in patients which require low oxygen needs. An adult nasal cannula delivers 1 to 6 liters of oxygen per minute. A pediatric nasal cannula delivers 1 to 4 liters per minute, while an infant nasal cannula delivers 2 liters per minute. A high flow nasal cannula is a recently discovered device that delivers 6 to 60 liters of oxygen per minute. And unlike a normal nasal cannula, it's a high oxygen need device. Next, we'll talk about a simple mask and a venturi mask. A simple mask is an ideal for short-term use. It delivers 5 to 8 liters of oxygen per minute. A venturi mask is a high-flow oxygen device, delivering 4 to 12 liters per minute of oxygen flow. Increasing flow does not alter the FiO2. FiO2 is controlled by a different color-coded adapter, which usually comes with a mask. It's the best device for COPD. And lastly, we're going to talk about a non-rebreather, a partial non-rebreather, and a BVM. A non-rebreather is a high-flow device that delivers 8 to 15 liters of oxygen per minute. It's an ideal device in emergency in a patient that are responsive but desaturating. A partial non-rebreather is a non-rebreather without its valve. It delivers FiO2 of 60 to 65. A BVM is an, another emergency device that is used in desaturating patient with no respiratory effort. Like an anrebreather, it delivers oxygen up to 100%. In all these devices, it's important to have a reservoir bag. And a reservoir bag is usually filled one third or half before it's connected to a patient. Thank you for watching this video.